Good morning, brothers and sisters. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I just want to give you the short encouragement in the book of Joel, in the first, ver second verse. He says, he says, Hear this, you elders. He give ear all inhabitants of the land. Has such a thing happened in your days or in the days of your fathers? In this short verse, God is calling to attention or is calling to claim the attention of all the people in the land. He's calling for attention of the elders. He's calling for the attention of all the inhabitants, the elders, the workers, the priests, everyone in the land. God is calling for the for their attention i would like to just remind you brothers and sisters that the judgment of the lord is serious business and joel is about to unfold the judgment in his time and um, he's about to unfold and he's about to sound the alarm that god is about to bring judgment over the nation and he calls for the attention of the elders. He calls for the attention of the children. He calls for the attention of the husbands. He calls for the attention of the workers. He calls for the attention of the priests. He calls for everybody's attention. And today God is calling for our attention. God is calling us to repentance. God is calling us to adhere to Him, to listen to Him, to attend to His world to attend to his mercies to attend to his grace he is merciful and as we read the book of joel we understand that he makes known the judgment of the lord but he also makes known the promise of god the promise of deliverance the promise of the holy spirit that would come the same promise that peter speaks about at the day of the holy spirit the, the Peter spoke about it and Peter said this is what Joel the prophet has spoken of and so Joel is calling for the attention of the people and same way as Joel called for the attention of the people I would like to encourage you this morning I would like to encourage everyone that you know has an opportunity to listen to this that God is calling for your attention God, because what is going to happen on the earth is serious business. We need to speak to our children. We need to speak to our families. We need to speak to our brothers and sisters. We need to speak to our friends. We need to speak and call their attention to the Lord. Call their attention to what God is saying in these days. God is calling us to prepare ourselves. God is calling us to make ourselves ready for what is coming. And I would like to speak to you today in saying that we need to repent. We cannot repent without the Holy Spirit. We cannot repent completely and truthfully and genuinely without the Holy Spirit. And it is my prayer this morning that the grace of God through the Holy Spirit will come upon our hearts and that we will desire to be different, that we will desire to become out of this world, to come out of this world, that we, that the Holy Spirit will put it on our hearts through the grace of God and through His mercies that we would not want to be part of this decaying world. I want to encourage you, beloved. The Bible says that God requires of us in the book of Micah. He says that God requires of us to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly before our God. I want to pray and ask that the Lord would be merciful and gracious, that mercy and kindness will be in our hearts towards each other, that we will speak the truth of God's word, that we will do justly and, 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 and love justice and walk humbly with our God. May the Lord bless and keep you, and may the Lord give by His grace that we give attention every day to what he's saying to us and to how and where he's leading us. And I can tell you today that he's leading us toward holiness. He's leading us toward uh, purity. He's leading us toward pre preparation for the coming of his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. May he bless you and may he keep you in this day. Shalom.